Is there someone in here? No, I'm just gonna assume no. Okay, there we go. Uh, I, I'm just gonna rewind the train real quickly. Because, you know, why not? Now, talk to me. Me the answers I need. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. Hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice, warm train. Get a life, Oscar. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! Don't go yet! Why not? happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. Yeah, really. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear as day. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see, and uh, and there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. A mysterious ghost-like person came and gave me a package. How interesting. Well, I can see the fountain's not working now. Sorry. It was a good-looking fountain, though. What? Oh, not another phone call! Mm. Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two, this is going to cost the firm multi dinero. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Yeah, thank you. Oh, phone call. Oh, what's better sounding one? Ah, that just got louder. Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker, Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. All right, let's get this going. Move, Kate Walker, move. That's the one thing I've always had in the trouble with this game, just moving to the next scene.
Hello, madame. Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgot. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink, sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, how he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. And then he was better. And he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child. A child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. Hmm. Who knew? Thank you for not... Grinding in my ears so quickly now. Uh, where do I go? Oh, right there. That's right. I thought it was up a bit. <laughs> I don't need to do that oh, again. Oh, good. Whoa, wait. Who's he? Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. It's him! Good. Yes! Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. I guess you're right, Mr. Vorlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker? Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. How far? Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Vorlberg, I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilen. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now. And I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away. On the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it wow, over. I... Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. 
and let me wish you a very pleasant journey. If this is my boss, I can finally just say it's over. Leave me alone. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Vorlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on yeah, you. Yeah, F you. you. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right, now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing. <laughs> sure. Real dumb. I just want to, like, scatter them to the wind. Take that, Mr. Morrison. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure is all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... It's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane... It's going to New York, too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. No. awesome there you go guys that was siberia that took a kind of a bit of time but still we bit we the game is done and i hope you guys actually enjoyed that um make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it i believe there is actually a sequel and the unfortunate side is that I actually it only can play on windows and i don't have a windows computer to record off from bummer but i do know that um I ever do get the time, I'll probably play a sequel to this. Um, I hope you guys actually enjoyed that. Um, now there's nothing much more I can say. I guess I'll probably catch you guys later, and I'm probably going to be trying my best to get another game up and running. Well, may you be free to be who you are and wherever you go. Till next time. Bye, guys.